What is up you guys? It's Jenna and I'm back with another video. I know I haven't been posting in a long time, but I've just been super busy and now that summer's coming up, I'm going to have a lot more time on my hands to make more videos. So in this video, I'm going to be doing like a chit chat, get ready with me. Um, I'm going to dinner with my mom tonight for her birthday. So I'm just going to be getting ready for that. And I hope you guys enjoy this video and please like and subscribe and turn on those bell notifications because I promise I'm going to be making more videos for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy the video. So first I'm going to be taking the Hangover Primer and I actually just bought this last weekend and I've been using it throughout like this whole last week and I am obsessed with it. It is so nice and after I put it on... And then I put my foundation over top of it. It looks so amazing. I used to use the Smashbox primer, and I loved that one too, but I just wanted to, like, try something different. Everyone likes to try something different, so I'm obsessed with this. And next I'm going to be going in with my It Cosmetics CC Cream, and this is the shade Light. I am obsessed with this guys like I bought this and I'm almost out of it like I love it and I'm definitely going to be purchasing it again because it has SPF 50 which is really nice for summer and I just put like two pump like two and a half pumps kind of on the beauty blender and then I just dab that all over one side of my face the first pump and a half and it just goes on so nice and smooth. I'm obsessed. And it matches my skin so nice. Like, a lot of people say that they don't have a wide variety of colors. But this one matches me perfectly. The light color. So then, to the other side of my face, I'm just going to be doing like a pump and a half, the same thing, on my beauty blender. And I'm obsessed with the beauty blenders that have like the flat side because it just is easier to apply the foundation, I think. I tried, I used to use like the regular beauty blender. I got this one from Real Techniques. And I used to use a regular like brand beauty blender. I'm blending it down my neck too because you just have to blend it all everywhere so it doesn't look awful. But I used to have like the regular round one and I tried to go back to it and I'm like, wait, this one's so much better. So after I'm done blending all that, I'm going to go in with my concealer and that is the... <laughs> oh guys, my lamp that was like I was using for lighting. But I'm still going to put it back up because it just totally fell, but it's fine. Okay, I'm just going to, like, ignore the fact that that just happened. And I'm just going to... I'm just going to keep going on. So, the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Neutral. Um, I'm going to put that in my eye, under my eyes. That's, like, a lot. I just put a lot, like, right here. But, you know, you just got to blend that out and it'll be fine. So, I'm going to blend that. A little bit like down here on the tip of my nose and actually going out to dinner we have, me and my mom have plans to go to dinner and then we're going to the ballet and I live in Canton Ohio so it's like downtown Canton and we're just gonna like have a girls night today we went and got facials together so that was really fun I had actually never gotten a facial before, so that was a lot of fun. So next I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And I used to use the Born This Way Translucent Powder, but um, this is so much better. I've noticed literally everyone uses this, and I know why now. But I'm just going to put that like under my eyes first and kind of pack it under my eyes. And then I'm going to take more and put it everywhere and this just really makes everything look so much better now to go in with contouring 
I'm going to be using this brush by Morphe. It's M437. And I'm using the Shade Light Palette by Kat Von D. This is still, like, I've been using this for months. And it is still my favorite thing of all time. The colors are so pigmented. And it's so pretty. So you can see the middle, the middle is, like, my favorite. I'm going to need to get another one of these palettes because I'm obsessed. And I'm just going to put it... on my cheekbones and really blend it in this brush like sheds and it's so annoying like I get hairs all over my cheeks from this brush but I don't know why I keep using it probably because I don't have any other brushes that like work for this bronzing process but it works you just gotta brush the hairs off your face but it's whatever uh, and then I'm just gonna take a little bit like on my forehead and like on my jaw a little bit then for blush I'm gonna be using this brush I don't know who it's by it's just like a cheap brush that I bought and I'm gonna be using the naked Urban Decay flush palette and I'm using the blush inside of it and I'm just gonna be tapping that on my cheeks Okay, so now I'm going to be highlighting, and I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Highlight, and I use the shade Hustla Baby. Okay, this is not working. Hustla Baby, and it looks like that, like the shinier one. And I'm going to be using, this brush is amazing for highlighter, it's the Morphe M438 brush, and I'm just going to take that right like on my cheekbone to give it that highlight and just a whole bunch because you can never have too much highlight right and a little bit like on my nose and on my cupid's bow so next i'm going to be doing eyeshadow and I'm going to be using the Modern Renaissance by Anastasia. And I actually had to just get a new one of these because literally I used like all the colors in my other one and it was just disgusting. And I got it like three years ago. And I use this palette pretty much every day. So I'm going to be basing my eyes with this color, Buon Fresco. The light purplish one right there, right there. So I'm just going to take that all over my eye. With this big old brush. This is called the M510 by Morphe. I love this brush. It's like just a big fluffy brush. And I use it to put my base color on. And I just kind of like put it all over my eye. You know. Just kind of get it all in there. So I actually love making YouTube videos. But I don't know why I stopped for like a couple months. I guess I just got busy but... I'm definitely going to be posting a lot more now because it's almost summer and I've just been busy with school a lot. So now that it's almost summer then I'm going to get back and try to post more. The next color I'm going to be using is Love Letter, this like hot pink color. And I'm just going to kind of go on like the outside of my eye. So like that. Okay, so after that, I am going to go in with, I'm just going to be using the Anastasia, like, brush, and I'm going to go in with this antique bronze color right here, and I'm just going to be doing the outer corner of my eye with that, and this is really pigmented too, so you want to make sure that you top it off. The next color I'm going to be using is the Vermeer, that sparkly pink color right there. And I'm just going to be going in the inner corner of my eyes with that. This color is so pretty. Like, it is so pigmented. This color was actually completely out in the last palette that I had because I used it every single day. I'm obsessed. I like pack this color on. Okay, and next, I'm going to take this big old fluffy brush again and kind of like go like that. And I'm just going to blend everything together. 
kind of just go, go ham across my eye. Okay, so next for eyebrows, I like need to get my eyebrows done so bad. They're awful. I haven't gotten them done since like homecoming, which was like October. So I actually bought this Beverly Hills Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow brow wiz and it literally broke the first day I got it like the thing that like, came off and now this thing won't work so I mean kind of really mad about that but I still have this little brush so I paid $40 for this little brush that I can use to comb my eyebrows I'm actually gonna go to Ulta and be like um why is this not working can I have like a new one something because that is not okay and then I'm going to be using my Cabral by Benefit to fill in my brows. Oh my god, I'm like seriously sweating so much in here right now. I live in Ohio, so it's usually freezing cold. But yesterday, it was a rant. It was like snowing two days ago. And then yesterday, it was like 80 and sunny. And today, it's warm still too. And my room is like smoldering. And I'm like really sweating right now. But it's fine. Okay, um, next for eyeliner, I am going to be using the Maybelline Line Stiletto Eyeliner. And I'm actually going to do this off camera because it's like really, it's like looks really awkward when I'm trying to do my wings on camera. So, so now that my eyeliner is done, I'm going to be going back in with the Modern Renaissance. And I'm just going to use the Anastasia brush, like the littler side. And I'm going to be taking, what am I going to be taking? I'm going to take the antique bronze and I'm just going to go do my lower lash line with that. And just put it on my lower lash line. And then for mascara, I've actually been obsessed. I got this like sample benefit bad girl mascara and I love it. I actually like it even better than better than sex. I'm obsessed. It makes your eyelashes look so long. So now that I'm done with all of that, I'm going to be taking my D for Danger by MAC lipstick and putting that on to finish the look. So that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'm definitely going to try to be posting more often now that summer's coming up and I'm going to have a lot more time on my hands. So thank you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe and turn on those notification bells and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!